The story goes the apple fell on Sir Isaac Newton's head and the laws of motion were born. Only Steve Spangler would know this. Okay, in today's Science Midden, Newton would be really proud of Steve in his way of using inertia to make an apple seemingly defy the law of gravity. For today's experiment, you're gonna need an apple. Don't eat it just yet. A stick, a dowel rod seems to work pretty well, and a hammer, great combination. Isaac Newton will be proud. Look at this. Take the stick and plunge it through the apple so it is right like that. Got it? So it can kind of move back and forth. Now it stays there because friction holds it in place. If I drop the stick right here on the table, the apple should move down. Isaac Newton talked about an object with a mass like this will stay in motion until a force acts upon it and friction is stopping it. Nothing too amazing about that. But watch this. Take the hammer now and tap the top. Watch what the apple does. It works its way back up the stick. Look at that. No trick. Look at that. How in the world does the apple climb the stick? What's the same thing? An object at rest stays at rest until a force acts upon it. So when it's down here like this, that apple doesn't want to move. So with every tap, the stick goes down and the apple doesn't want to move. It resists it and the friction holds it in place. Look at that. It works its way back up. It's one of those amazing things. Just remember that it's not a good idea to hit the fingers. Otherwise you'll be mad. Look at that. You have done it and you've earned it. Isaac Newton truly will be proud. It's all about inertia. I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your edible science minute. Pretty awesome. <laughs> he swallowed it. Out there, yes. I'm impressed.